Hey folks, it's me, your old pal, CLG. K0 Mike Whiskey Bravo. So that call sign is issued to this guy. Well, let me tell you, Matthew, that is not an original call. Here's the original owner of K0 Mike Whiskey Bravo. My father, Lee Rademacher. This is a picture of him in World War II. They flew the PBM Mariner off the coast of, um, God, what's that country? <laughs> Cuba, trolling for Japanese and German submarines. Here he is again, here's Lee Rademacher. I think he got that call sign probably in the 50s. K0 Mike Whiskey Bravo, here he is again. That's him, that's my brother Dan, that's me. On a fishing trip in Alaska. Here's his old buddy that he used to know back then. So, K0 Mike Whiskey Bravo. Here's his Catholic Mass Missalette, okay? This is what they used to carry back in the day. And uh, he, was a, he was a good Catholic, you know. We're all raised Catholic, and I have no problem with that. So, this missalette, this is what they all, they all used to carry. It was like their mass book. This is copyright 1962. I think he met my mom in 1955. So, yeah, K0 Mike Whiskey Bravo. Just wanted to let you know, if you watching this that this is the legacy of where your call sign comes from um by the way this is a picture of lee rademacher k0 mike whiskey bravo in alaska but this was right before alaska became a state i think that was 1954 i can't remember but he was there before that that's when the u.s military had bases there right after world war ii my dad was there that's a radio operator so yeah, K0 Mike Whiskey Bravo. Or as my dad would say, K0 more whiskey and beer. This is the original owner of that call sign there, buddy. And hope you enjoy the call sign. I'm glad you have it. 73 is from the son of K0 Mike Whiskey Bravo, Doug, Kilo Alpha Zero, Charlie Lee McGolf. Have a good day, folks. Oh yeah.